Hey, this is Eddie Hale, and in my last video, we drew this tube of toothpaste, filling it with cyan, magenta, yellow, and black colors. In this next video, we're going to take that same tube of toothpaste and fill it with Pantone colors, just to practice finding those Pantone colors and then filling shapes with them, filling and stroking shapes with them. So in Illustrator, here's my tube of toothpaste. I am going to duplicate that tube. I want to see both of them on the work you hand in. I'm going to hold the Option key and drag with my selection arrow to make a copy of that tube up there. And this one will fill with Pantone colors. First, we need to find the Pantone colors, and they're kind of hidden. In your swatches panel, you click on this pop out menu, and you go down to swatch, open swatch library, and then you go to color books, and they unfortunately go out of my viewable range here. But I go down to Pantone Solid Coated. There's a whole bunch of different books down there, but Pantone Solid Coated is what we're going to use. And I sort of sneaked around behind your back, and I went into um, Show Find Field to make this Find Field show up, and I changed the view to Small List View also. So if I look at my handout, the whole tube of toothpaste should be filled with 10% of Pantone 2665. So these are colors you would use if you were doing a print job that... Um, only had a few colors in it. This is not perfectly realistic because this has a lot of Pantone colors in it, and that doesn't usually happen. So I'm going to select all of these parts here, parts of our shape, and I'm going to tell them to fill, well, I, I would usually have to search 2665. It would go down and find 2665. I'll click on this, and it fills it with that very dark color. In my color panel now, I can drag this slider down to 10%, or I can highlight this and make it 10%. Bring the stroke forward now in your color panel and tell it to be 2665 also. The handout says that it should be 50%, so I'll highlight that and type in 50%. And there I've got those colors right. I missed this though. Remember, this is just a stroke with no, no fill, so I'll have to tell that to be 2665, 50% also. My shadows are also 2665. I checked the handout and it is... Uh, 25% 2665. So select those. I shift clicked to select those. And then this one down here also. And I'm going to tell those to be filled, filled with 2665, but only at 25%. The shadows, they can't um they can't add up and multiply like they did in our last lesson. So I'm just going to use one shadow. I'm going to delete the extra blue shadows and just keep that purple one there. What does my handout say that should be? It says it should be 60%. So I'll go into my color slider here and change that to 60%. There, there's my tube of toothpaste with all Pantone colors. Oh, I missed that shadow. Hey, I'm going to click on that and I'm going to use the eyedropper to click on one of the shadows that I like to make it the right color. Um, this one is also 2665, but I think it's solid 2665. I'll use the eyedropper to highlight the shadow and then change it to 100%. Now looking at my handout, I might pause the tape and make you go in and change this to 259238. Let's see here. Select this, type in 259, make sure my fill is forward, 259. Click on this, type in 238 to the find field here. 238, fill that with 238. So there's the tube of toothpaste filled with Pantone colors. Again, those colors would usually be used for print jobs that just have a, a one or two colors in them. But we did more colors here just for practice. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks.